Hi. So far, I have around 300 opt-ins uh, thanks to this specific funnel. Around 300 people who reached this specific page uh, have subscribed to my list. However, I have not sent any email uh, to these subscribers yet. And in this video, I want to show you how to create your funnel for your autoresponder series. So, let's go back here. I am right now in uh, the Edu Child Read campaign and I have one single funnel which is the pre-sale funnel which is the funnel I have been using <coughs> to uh, collect my leads and to make a uh, few sales since we started this video series. And now I'm going to add a new funnel which will be my for my autoresponder series. <coughs> and uh, in this funnel, uh, what in this autoresponder series, sorry, I want to do two different things. The first one is uh, during the first few days, I want to remind them to remind the subscribers about uh, the product I have been promoting in uh, the pre-sale funnel, and I want to pre-sell them even more. So I want to give them more information. Uh, explain them what they can expect from this product. Uh, over, I want to overcome uh, the most common objections they may have, and uh, hopefully it will help me to make more sales for the ClickBank product I have been promoting uh, in the pre-sale funnel. And the second thing <coughs> I want to do with this uh, autoresponder series is promote other products to these people, because I know they have uh, small kids. And there are a lot of products that I can uh, push to them. So uh, let's start. Let's uh, let's have a look at how we can uh, easily do, do this. So the, the, this funnel is going to be a little bit different from the pre-sale funnel because I'm not going to connect any node. Instead, I will have all fun nodes for each of the product I am going to promote for my uh, autoresponder series. So let's first add. <clears throat> the Clickbank offer this one and uh, I'm going to add three or four emails to my autoresponder series to promote this specific product and <clears throat> when uh, I will have when I will want to insert my link in these four emails I will just come uh, on this funnel I will uh, select this option send traffic here let me save first this funnel. I will select this option. I will select my traffic source uh, corresponding to uh, my autoresponder series emails. I will copy this link. And then in my uh, emails, I will enter a list ID here. So it will be child read. And for the mail tracking field, I will enter the number one for the first email in the series, two for the second email in the series, three for the third mail in the series, and so on. And that way I will be able to know which email is uh, converting and which ones uh, are not converting. Uh, then when I will want to promote another product uh, to these subscribers, I will just add an offer here. Uh, I have not any offer yet related to this niche, but uh, let's uh, take any one from uh, this list. This one, for example. And in the fifth email, for example, or the sixth email or the seventh email, I will send traffic to this specific node. And once again, I will enter the list ID as child read. So I will know that the sales are coming from this specific list. And I will enter the, uh, the number of the email containing this link and this will help me when I will uh, look at my statistics uh, this will allow me to find which emails are converting uh, and which ones are not and uh, in this specific autoresponder series I will also add uh, a review page uh, if you remember, in the first video of this series, when we when we found 
who was the, the top affiliate for this specific product, I found his pre-sale page. So in this email series, I'm also going to send people to his page so they can have a different view about this product. Uh, and this page will contain my own affiliate links. So I will be able to see if showing them uh, a review from uh, another person or another persona that I could create later is helping me to convert more of those people uh, into sales. So this is it. This video is very short because uh, creating a funnel for your autoresponder is pretty straightforward. And uh, I'm going to uh, add my emails now to my autoresponder series. And I'm going to start sending emails to uh, my subscribers. And hopefully, it will help me to make even more sales. Thanks for watching. Bye.